deal with that I told you about toasting it, etc. This one we're going to cut into a small piece. We'll cut it across. You can't just rip it in that direction. So we cut it. I have a piece that's already been toasted. So I'm going to put some of the paste down. I'm going to put a very thin slice of the fish. Thank you, chef. Then I'm going to add a kaffir lime leaf, right? The kaffir lime. So very different, very aromatic. I'll squeeze it a little bit. Just in case somebody have never seen this before, they looks like this. Yeah, always yeah. grow two. Two leaves together. And I actually have two of this in my house, in my bedroom. Very nice. Couple shallots. So at this point, and then I put a little bit of the on paste top. on top. Now, that's traditional rolled up and it's done. But to give it a little mm, something different, there's something in Malaysia, they take sambal, they take the sh chili paste, and they add coconut milk, pineapple, and shrimp. And it's a, a lamat um, asam uh, with a nanas, which is the pineapple. So I'm going to put a little pineapple in there. It makes sense with the flavors. And drizzle it with a touch of coconut milk. Season with a touch of salt. And then I'm just going to wrap this up. Of course, every time you add a tiny bit of um, sweet and sour, you cut down the spiciness, the, the heat of fold. the chili. Fold, fold. That's it. Then I'm going to put it inside my pan. And just always roast the skins, the one that's folded first. And we're just going to leave it in there, and it's going to take about five minutes or so. Now, and I am going to serve to our guests. And this, and when you eat, you just pick it out, and this is beautiful. What to do is, you cut this open. And cut this open. And then open this up, and open this up, and open this up. Now, to make it really interesting, you remember the uh, exo sauce we have on top. Number one. And okay. Yes. Yeah. I knew it was nice asshole. Time, time later. Yeah. Get that hand up and move. <laughs> Uh, what, what you have experienced, what you have been tasting, is something very, very traditional, very unique, and yet it's evolving. And, and uh, as you notice that, by steaming it, by clavering it, you use a minimum amount of oil, I basically, you don't even have to use oil. So that's another beauty about cooking. Um, and I always tell people, you look at these physical specimens, they look, look at this. <laughs> this. For 30 Woo! years, I have not gained one pound. You know why? Because I have clay pot cooking and steam dishes every day. And no deep fried dishes, very rarely. So basically, uh, Chef Robert Denhai and myself have shown everybody how the application of spices, seasoning, a lot of these are served on the street of many parts of South Asia, Asia. You have to be there to experience it. You, know? you can take classes here, but to really truly experience the cultural, the human, the human side of it, and uh, the local flavor, you gotta walk on the street, the back street, the back alley of many of these cities, exotic, traditional places. Um, before we open the floor to some questions and answers, hopefully the answers, you have the questions, is I'd like to thank the Cordon Bleu for sponsoring this session and making this possible for all of us to be sitting here and, um, and enjoying some food. Thank you, Chef. Thank you very much. And also, I would like to thank Vikram um, and also uh, Melissa to bring us all the, the exotic ingredients. Yes. Should've done.